Hello viewers, it's yet another exciting episode at Believe Unfiltered. And with me, I have some very great personalities. I have like my host here, Minister Emmanuel, mm -hmm. and then I have my second host, Chet Pika. And then our guest for tonight, we have Convey. Yes, I really <laughs> am excited to bring to you an exciting topic that we thought it wise to discuss with you guys today um we're talking about um prayers now our prayer lives and everything and the topic says how do you maintain a consistent prayer life so i feel as christians and as believers it is a it's something you need to take seriously when you, when when it, when it concerns prayers your connection to god and all of that so i would allow my my host just to to shed more light about this briefly before we go into the main segment of the of today's event okay um so basically like he said how to maintain a consistent prayer life you know it's not just about maintaining prayer life mm. the the distinctive word is consistent, consistent prayer life because i can tell you that when i have problems that's when i know how to pray mm -hmm. you understand i've i've, I've been there <laughs> that if you see my my recent or if you check my Spotify, the recent one, when I see Chan, 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 it's a guy. It'd be like, August, problem too for me. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so <laughs> it's about maintaining a very consistent real life, basically. Yeah. So I, I I expect, or you viewers will expect a lot of, because I know so many of you are facing the same thing out there. You, you're not having a constant prayer life. It's up and down, up and down. So, but... In this in this episode, I believe it's going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, so um, I feel at this point, I don't know. Let me let me let me officially allow our our guest to do a little introduction and just tell us a little bit about yourself, okay. so we can get to know you better. Yeah? Okay, thank you, thank you, Smice. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Duski. Thank you, Peter Chet. Emmanuel, Iriemi. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Mark Odiba. I popularly people know me as Convey. When I used to do one type of music, well, I go by Mark right now. <laughs> one type, one type. Of... Maybe we'll, Please don't we'll judge. talk about that. Yeah, we will. We should. Okay, so I go by Mark Odiba now, and uh, I'm a I'm first a gospel minister, and then I'm a fashion designer, and then I'm a child of God. So wow. that's basically yes, and that's that's okay. that's all. For so me. um, yes. about 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 prayers now. Yes. How do, what do you think um prayers should be like? How do you think? A believer should perceive the whole prayer thing that is you know when 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 they they they, they met Jesus and say how do we how, how should we pray at each other and yeah so yeah that's it and then G G jesus was telling them how to to pray and all of that yeah. i feel like and we and we grew up with this ideology that prayer has to be in a certain there's a, there's a posture there's a there's calmness yeah when there's, a, there's a there's a they, they say they, 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 I, I hear stuff like the posture of your heart <laughs> <laughs> and all of that so my question is what do you what 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 what, what would you say prayer should be like for for a believer okay. first of all uh the essence of prayer is for fellowship and fellowship is an encompassing word it has communication in it mm -hmm. so as long as you can communicate easily in a certain way now for me when i pray most of the time i'm lying down but it doesn't work for everybody mm -hmm. yeah. and when i notice that this my um the state of my body will make me sleep so i'll sit by my bed so i pray i can sit down in a particular spot and pray for as long as i need to mm -hmm. so prayer when they say posture of your heart, I think what they what they are referring to is um, trying to silence the noise. You, everybody who prays, I know from the viewers who are watching, there's a common problem with prayer. Once you start praying, shawarma will enter your mind. <laughs> <laughs> your Especially God. when the eyes are closed. Oh, now too bad. <laughs> so everything prayer has when and it's the devil that does this. He tries to flood your mind yeah, with a lot of activities. Him. So if you can silence your heart and communicate with God. In fact, one of the ways that we, we normally do it is we just focus on Jesus. Just focus on Him. If you can, just silence your heart. In three minutes, you can connect to God. In fact, in one minute, three seconds, 
your heart can be connected and prayer is just communicating with god so it can be done in any language i was telling if a cousin of mine this week i was telling her a girl i said they have made you feel like prayer is one difficult thing so maybe when you hear me praying in tongues you feel like ha, i don't like getting this place i said don't worry god can hear your language god can understand when you speak pidgin just find a way to communicate to him and prayer should be done from the heart the bible speaking it says scripture speaking it says the heartfelt fervent prayer of the righteous mm -hmm. make it tremendous power available dynamic in its working so if it's not heartfelt it's not prayer so if it does not come from your heart god cannot hear it in his ears all right. Well, well I, I feel like you, 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 you understood where we're headed to. Okay. So you see, when we were talking, when, 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 when we spoke about consistency, yes. there's always that thing that comes with. For some reason, you just realize that there's just something that is like a like a barrier, hmm. maybe a form of a body that doesn't really allow you come to God. In, 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 in the place of prayer mm. like you might you might just realize that ah for the past two weeks now or maybe a week i've just not felt how do christians handle those kind of situations when they realize that ah, for some certain thing for some certain reason i've not been able to really connect like the way i used to too okay in the place of prayer how do they go about this thing and able to getting back their fire yeah. okay so let me start with this Picking where the hungry, no road to kitchen. <laughs> if you you have cold, if your, your prayer life is going down, yeah. you look for the community of believers. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes you see some of us just go online, go to YouTube, go and type Mark Odiba chants, Lord Louis chants, mm -hmm. or the Toki for chants, whatever. Because those things can help stir up spirit. They can help stir up your spirit. But it might not be enough. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, iron sharpened iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. If you want to find the flame of God that is inside of you, and you notice that, ah, because of my activities, just find your friend, your brother, go and stay around them. Mm -hmm. Anybody who spends time around smoke, who spends time around firewood, will smell smoke. Mm -hmm. So if prayer is going on here, prayer is going on here, prayer is going on here, you cannot say you will not pray. Mm -hmm. So go and look for. If you, if, you are in, if you are in need of food, if you are in need of water, you find the river. So if you know your prayer life is down, you look for the believers. You go in their midst. Say, Kai, brother, I've been busy. Oh, please, just let's just. So once they are doing, you two, you will find out. Mm. This thing is a simple technique. All those like lighting that you say, and people like to lie to themselves. Mm. Even great pastors sometimes they have down times. So you need somebody that is already that is already maintaining his fire. You say, let him uh, who is falling. I'm trying to quote it, but maybe I'm not getting the scripture. They can help you up. Mm. So that's for me. That's what has helped me and the people who are around me. When you find yourself, I've, I've taken one of a popular gospel minister who is my friend. One time he said, Kai, something. I said, okay, let's travel. We traveled from here to Kogi State. Mm. We went to spend three days. When he came back, he was on fire. I just took him to one very popular gospel minister of God in Nigeria. I said, come, stay in his room. I said, just stay there. Mm. I left him. I went to my own house in Kogi State. In mm. Oh, mm. sorry. I didn't need to give that information. Okay. So when I came back, he left came back to where his base is. I'm telling you, that's the turnaround for his ministry. He moved to another energy level. So how to get back your fire is to find somebody who is on fire. Mm. If you have a candle that there's no light and you have candle that there's light, how do you get light to this one? Just check it. Yeah. That's all. Mm. It doesn't take so much. Even the person who is fanning your flame, fanning the gift of God that is inside of you, fanning your own flame, he may not even feel anything. They will say, you didn't lose virtue. It's not your virtue, it's the Holy Ghost. So it's not like Jesus when somebody touched the hem of her garment, hem of his garment, he now say virtue left me. Yeah. Virtue will not leave you. You just find the person who has fire, sir. Mm -hmm. Go there. You find yourself if you if you're around singers, you find yourself wanting to sing. Mm. You just when they are singing, you just you might you just add one like light or that's off key. But okay, can, 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 can. Yes, sir. One thing I pick. Yes, sir. If you find yourself around firewood. Yes, sir. You can yes, sir. Powerful. Thank you, sir. Now let's bring this to the real life issue. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. You they suffer. <laughs> not you. <laughs> no, you cannot suffer. <laughs> 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 I don't go suffocate too. <laughs> Best thing never chop. Unless not you know who is food, right? You you 
you they go through tragedy, your parents, you know, because get one story, right? Okay. Someone lost her parents in one day. Accident. Wow. Both parents Tragic. died. Tragic. And she has two siblings, younger ones. And she has to take care of them. Uncles know they do anything for them. Uncles forsake them. She wants to, you know, do the right thing. It's not forthcoming. She's trying to look for work. She has to go to school. She has to sponsor the younger ones. Nothing is working. Church, no grief assist. And this girl, not girl. Some men, they try one, offer one or two, but they, they give her advances. They say, come and be my girlfriend or come and be doing one or two with me. I will help you. I will sponsor this one. I will sponsor. And one of, she's not even sure if they're going to keep to their promises. And even if they're going to keep to their promises, is, it, is that the right thing for her? Yeah. So in that... Uh, Expert or illustri illustration, what do you think she should do? Because how do you maintain a prayer life living that kind of life? So, yeah. what do you think she should do being in that real life issue? Right? I feel like, let me let me add a little bit. You know, there's that ah. thing that um, that happens each time you feel there's there's um, like the element of sin mm, that yeah. Yeah. comes in. That puts you at that point of guilt that, that you just feel like I can't come to God mm. in prayer, you know, because know as, 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 uh, with yeah, with all these things that are happening, probably let's just say maybe she happened to fall for this kind of thing because real life situation happened, and then there's there's almost no no any other yeah. choice for her to make, mm -hmm. and it happens that she is in this situation, mm. right? Yes, sir. And it has affected this prayer life because now she cannot come to God because of that guilt. How do you expect? How do you, how do, how how does such a person handle find that way about that situation? Okay, it's a very interesting question. First of all, <clears throat> the Bible speaking in John chapter I think fourteen said, "I am the Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except That's by true. me. Yes, by me." If God is your father, who will you run to? If the solution is only God and you have offended him and you see him as your father, there's no offense that you commit against your father that you can't still go back to him. It takes us back to the story of the prodigal son. Um, the, the, I like what uh, Emmanuel Riem said. He said. He said, realistically, because this is the thing that these are the things that people face. So yeah. you can't push it out of the table and say, no, Abba, don't but those kind of things in just one case. No, <laughs> this happens. People sin every day. Or people fall short of whatever and all that. So they, this is this is the struggle that people go through. So what do you do? First of all, you have to know first that what you have done is wrong. But you also have to know that there is a mercy side of God. That he's always merciful and forgiving. But you know that there's a repercussion to every sin. First of all, if you go and sleep with a man, you can catch HIV, but God will forgive you. So you will die of <laughs> HIV eh, or staphylococcus or whatever the sickness is. <laughs> but God has forgiven you. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to know that if you were merciful, if God was merciful enough unto you that you didn't contract the disease, blessed is he whose, whose sins are forgiven and all, well, whatever. So if, if, you are, if God was merciful to you that you didn't contract a disease, God is a father. The love of God is expressed in Jesus that came to die. So you have to know that that sin has been paid for. He paid it before you committed it. So what you need to do is, Jesus told the woman who was caught in the act of adultery, he said, where are your accusers? When he said he was the first without, the, without sin, cast the first stone. Everybody started dropping from the oldest to the youngest. A preacher was explaining, he said, do you know why the oldest was the first to drop this stone? He said, when you grow in life, you realize that some things you don't do them before. Mm -hmm. So the oldest dropped this stone to the youngest. He now said, where are your accusers? He said, go. He said, neither do I condemn you. He said, go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. So the only thing is, Jesus has healed some people. He said, do not sin, no. Because if you sin, a greater punishment or a greater sickness will come That's upon so you. Just know that, okay, this mistake has been made. Father, have mercy. Come to your senses and return to God. The thing that the devil wants us to do is to run away from God. Mm -hmm. And God is constantly trying to come to us. 
that thing that is pushing us away is the devil. He's always making you, that's why he's called the accuser of the brethren now. He's accusing you, he's reminding you. If you go to God, he has forgiven your infirmities and he said your sicknesses. He said, I've forgiven your, 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 your um, sins and your, your whatever iniquities I'll remember no more. So God doesn't remember. I'm not teaching hyper grace now, so I'm not telling people to go and sin. But yeah, I'm saying I, that I, yes. I actually wanted I wanted to ask because yes. a lot of people might just get um misled okay. when you spoke about your sins have been forgiven. Yes. There's always been an issue. Yes. When you say ah grace has, has covered, has paid it all. But Jesus all has that. but but that's the that's the actual truth. Good. So now yes. in a situation whereby like he said, real life situation mm. where she almost doesn't have a choice. Okay. Now, if you are able to Point of correction, just, we always have a choice. <laughs> yeah, yes, no, 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 no. Yes. You see, for me, mm. I feel he now diffused the question. Okay. okay. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. Okay. Let's go ahead. You are in that, somebody is in that situation. Mm -hmm. And she was taking time to look for other solutions. Going to join Bible study, going to the pastor. Tell her waiting to do um we need I need her pastor say promise 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 even the ones we get brothers we or elders we get money for church and mix them one on one on one they promise promise from nothing and things are going down bills need to be paid and all that there are some situations that if we don't believe like the whole world is against you it's against you That's even, sure. I was actually so the point there. the question now and for me for me is a test right. Yeah. Because everybody cannot just be saying no to you, only mm -hmm. you. And everything is going wrong at the same time. Is it, I, I believe it's a test. So when, how, how do you think it's possible for that kind of lady mm. to balance that real right. life issue okay. with a consistent, prayer remember, life. that consistent has okay. to be there. Okay, that's with what a consistent about. prayer life. It's not just prayer life. Because if it's just prayer, like it's okay to pray for one once in a, in six months. Mm -hmm. So you can pray today and run anything we want run, mm -hmm. allegedly, and, come and, and then come back and pray. Okay. Consistent prayer is what we're talking about here. Because why I'm bringing out this thing, there's a lot of people, our viewers, that are going through this thing. And I kid you not. Okay, so I was speaking to a friend of mine some years ago. He told me that he had had an incident. Something happened. He met a friend that was into this um uh uh sex hawking and all that okay right okay. so he spoke to her you're beautiful why are you doing this thing you can and you're still young mm. come back to be convinced that she now was crying to him that okay i don't have anybody nobody da 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 da, da. my sibling blah, blah, blah. the guy now felt this thing he now said okay don't worry I have a spare house I've rented somewhere before. I wanted to use it for my office or something, but I will give it to you just to remove you from this place. Yeah. And you not be, you know, in the middle of all these people, they will yeah. convince you another to go back. Since you, you are crying, it looks like you want to come out of this place. Let yeah. me even be a part of it's not just praying and this is it. Mm -hmm. Let me be a part of the coming out from it. Yes. So come and stay here. Yes. And you know, you can be from there. Maybe get you you learn a trade or something, mm -hmm. fashion mm -hmm. design, anything, mm -hmm. you can start up from there. Do you know that the lady agreed exchange number so that you can be checking up on her? He called her after a few hours. That same day, mm -hmm. she had already gone back to whatever she was doing. Yes. It's difficult to live a certain life, especially when you have been profiting in some kind of way. And then the devil can be very deceitful. <sighs> So my question now is, having said all of this, my question now is, how do you balance a consistent prayer life with the real life issue of a particular person that is going through so massive true. challenges, yeah. that is looking like the whole world is against you? You know that you cannot build faith <clears throat> in time of trouble. Faith is built over time. So the, the realistic truth is, if you do not love God, you will not even pray. It's, it's high time that we stop seeing God as a transactional entity. It's only when you have problem that you now consistently start praying. If prayer is your consistent lifestyle, 
problems will come. But because you have seen the benefits of being consistent in fellowship, you will trust God. You know, the truth is, our race is a race of trust, blind trust. Yeah, they said that Jesus died for us. We were not there. It's a risky trust. Me, I've never seen, I've, I, I wasn't there. I've, in fact, I've never been to Israel. <laughs> so I, I just believed what people said. <clears throat> and because I have a conviction in my heart, yeah. I feel like, okay, this thing I'm believing you know, is true. And God has used some proofs to explain it to us. So if you really love God, in the day of temptation, it's love that conquers. Mm -hmm. I, I, I say this, let me explain it. If there is a temptation, for example, to sleep with somebody and not to, you know what will deliver you is love. In that day, you will obey who you love. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So one of the commandments that Jesus emphasized, emphasized was men ought always to pray and not to faint. Mm -hmm. So that's a prayer was not an advice, it's a command. If in fact Jesus was he carried his disciples in Matthew, I think chapter 17 and so on. He carried them to the Mount of Transfiguration and he said, Can't you wait with me for one hour? Which means it's a paramount, it's of paramount importance that a believer prays at least an hour a day. So it's not even an advice, not a suggestion. At least, he said, pray that you fall not into temptation. At least an hour in a day. Did you, did you hear the point? Uh, yes, sir. Pray so that you don't fall into temptation. Yes, sir. So if you pray, I'm not saying that temptations will not come. Yes, sir. But he will give you a way of escape but, but, after but, you have but prayed. Coming, coming from what he's saying. Yes, sir. This person is someone that doesn't even have the act of prayer. And no, you cannot help somebody who doesn't act the act of Good. prayer so to how? maintain consistent prayer life <laughs> when <laughs> the person is already inside <laughs> problem. Let's, let's, let's see. Uh, it's not realistic now. <laughs> somebody that doesn't is not praying before, you don't know how to farm. Then they now start farming. They now say maybe there's no food in the world. They now say this one will now become a great farmer. I cannot work. This the so the, so the, so okay. Yes, okay, the vectors. Now yes, we know that. For you to have a consistent prayer life, you need to have a prayer life. Yes. Now, my question for everyone is, is there a kind of prayer 